Ornithine transcarbamylase, or OTC, helps speed up reactions in the body that break down dietary protein and remove excess nitrogen from the body, a process known as the urea cycle. Some people inherit a disorder called OTC deficiency, where their bodies cannot produce this enzyme. In this case, nitrogen can't be removed from the system, leading to a buildup of toxic levels of ammonia. OTC deficiency can make people seriously ill within hours if precipitating factors appear, with an acute risk of brain damage and even death. It's estimated that this disorder affects 1 in 60,000 people, with varying levels of seriousness. People try to keep the illness under control by being very careful with their diet. The most common approach combines a low-protein diet with ammonia scavenging agents to mop up excess nitrogen. However, even with strict restrictions, the condition can still lead to episodes of high ammonia and potentially death in childhood. Triggers include various types of stress, dietary changes and common viral illnesses. The only current long-term treatment option is a liver transplant. This is not the best solution as donors are in short supply and there's always the risk of the immune system rejecting a new liver. There may, however, be hope on the horizon. It comes in the form of a collaborative gene therapy project between University College London and the University of Sydney. OTC deficiency is caused by changes or mutations in the DNA of the OTC gene, which is located on the X chromosome. Males are more likely to suffer from the disease as they have only one X chromosome. Gene therapy is where DNA encoding a missing enzyme is injected into a patient with the goal of being taken up by host cells and correcting faulty genes using genes as medicine. It works well for treating monogenic diseases, in other words, illnesses caused by a single faulty gene. Correct versions of the gene are injected and delivered to target organs, for example, the liver, by vectors to restore normal functionality. It's important that the genes are delivered to the specialized liver cells accurately. The leading vector candidates to deliver gene therapy to liver cells are called adeno-associated viral vectors, or AAV vectors. AAV vectors are made from viruses that can target the cells of interest without causing disease. Once in the cell, the AAV vector releases the DNA encoding the missing enzyme, which will be produced by the internal machinery of the target cell. The liver cells are now able to produce OTC again. This could bring huge benefits to sufferers of OTC deficiency as they could have a single jab that may offer protection for many years or even for life instead of lifelong treatment or a potentially risky liver transplant. There is an urgent need for more efficient therapies in other monogenic liver diseases too. So there's hope that the work carried out by researchers at UCL and the University of Sydney can lead the way for improved treatment in other disorders.